More trouble for New York Congressman George Santos. Just days after being sworn into office, he is now facing an ethics complaint from a couple of House Democrats. All right, Jody Goldberg tells us exactly what they're demanding tonight. Congratulations. You are now members of the 118th Congress. George Santos was sworn into Congress early Saturday morning, and on Tuesday, he received his first House Ethics Committee complaint from sitting members for, quote, failing to file timely, accurate, and complete financial disclosure reports. He has been put on notice that he is the target of an ethics complaint on the part of two of his colleagues. We have a complaint for you. Crusaders against corruption and criminality are going after Santos, saying the 34 year old who admitted to lying about much of his background is a fraud who can't be trusted. The million dollar question is where did all his money come from? The campaign legal center also filed a complaint with the Federal Election Committee on Monday questioning sources of funding, including the $705,000 Santos loaned to his campaign. They have claimed that in fact some outside source, which could be an individual or a corporation or a foreign national, gave him that money illegally to run for Congress. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise weighed in on concerns surrounding Santos, saying his past will be discussed with him directly. We're going to have to sit down and talk to him about it, and that's something that we're going to deal with. Meanwhile, Santos continued to dodge reporters in Washington, and locally, the door at his district office in Douglaston, Queens, remained closed. A spokesperson shared this picture, saying maintenance and electrical issues inside have prevented them from opening. We reached out to the landlord. He does acknowledge there are problems within the space. He says it's typical when a new tenant takes over and it's being worked on now. A spokesperson for Santos tells me they hope to have the office up and running by the end of the week. He's not really in Congress at all. I'd vote for him, but I mean, would I do it again? Probably not. For his part, Santos's attorney says he's not commenting on recent complaints filed, citing ongoing investigations. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.